Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. It is our Coffee with Conti show, and on my channel, I like to share a little bit of everything. Experiences, information, fun, successes, failures. We have all of that and more for you on today's show. Let me give you just a little bit of preview of what you're about to watch, so you might need a second cup. That way you sit back, relax, watch, and listen. I do appreciate that because we do have a great show for you today. One of the things you're gonna see, and if you've been with us for a while, you'll realize that my son, and I respect that, he doesn't like to talk on the vlog, but he goes on the vlog to share the experiences that he's sharing with me. Today, he talks <laughs> on the vlog. Do you think the Z06 drive experience at the NCM Motorsports Park had anything to do with it? Yeah, just a little bit. We've talked about this before, and in two weeks on the show on Coffee with Conti, we're finally gonna share the custom interior badges from your Corvette. If you've got one from a C7, if you've got one from a C8, and you've not emailed it in, please do so. I've teased this for a long time, waiting to get my second car and waiting for Michael to get his museum delivery. And we, we said you could really put just about anything on here. And I even gave you a fun idea of something you could put on there. Nobody's ever done it. Until now. It's rain and tacos. <laughs> Yes, Michael from Florida is a fun and an understanding guy. He's the one we've been talking about with that Z06 drama saga. It actually continued all the way up until delivery day that didn't happen. Let me catch you up to speed. Back in November, his allocations released. Car built in April. Waited two and a half weeks to get an invoice. The day of the invoice on a Friday, a week ago Friday, supposed to go across the street to the National Corvette Museum for its delivery. They said, wait a minute, there's damage on the car. They called Michael. They said, Said, not sure if we can have this fixed in time for your delivery on this coming Wednesday. All the way up until Wednesday, he doesn't know what the damage is, to what degree, if it can be fixed, if it's fixed, and when it's going to be fixed. So what does he do? He goes to the Bowling Green Assembly Plant office, gets a great electrical engineer, tells the story, says, hang on a second, I've got somebody that's going to take care of this for you. Here comes Kai Spandy, the plant manager. He says, Michael, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with your car. Give me your VIN, give me your cell, and I'm gonna find out, and I'll get back to you in an hour. And in fact, he did. We're across the street at the National Corvette Museum, eating at the Stingray Grill. Here comes the text from Kai Spandy. Michael goes, look, here, here it is. The damage to his car was a chip on the out, just a small chip on the outside of the exposed carbon fiber wheel. Kai showed him that. He showed the car when it came off the assembly line, and he said, in fact, here's your new wheel, and here's your new tire. It'll be on the car today. It'll be across the street for you to take delivery at the National Corvette Museum tomorrow. And Michael did. But you're probably wondering, how did I do a send-off, Pat, without a car there the day that we were all there? A fun experience on that coming up in just a moment. To add to Michael's experience, the day he's leaving Bowling Green to go back to the hotel to get ready for his delivery, the following day, he's at the gas station. He goes, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a text to Kai. He's been so helpful. I just want to thank him for his extra effort. And here comes in the Z06 demo. Kai Spandy and the opposite pump at the same gas station. He goes, I was just getting ready to text you. You want to talk about a great story. That's a great story. This is a great car. This is Coffee with Conti. Welcome everybody to the show. Man, I'll tell you, you can't, no, you can't. You cannot write this stuff. One more thing I want to share a little preview. You'll see more of later on today's show is our unique opportunity to drive the Z06 on the NCM Motorsports track. Myself, my son Ryan, Michael, and his dad all drove the Z06. I shared a small picture with you guys on social media, beating myself up, and I beat myself up a little bit on today's vlog because, well, that's the perfectionist in me. I wanna do a great job, I'm very competitive. I wanna do a good job for you guys. I want you to be impressed with what I'm sharing, but. When I'm doing something right, I want you to learn from it. But when I'm doing something wrong and I'm not afraid to share it, I want you to learn from that too. And this was, this was basically probably a little more geeked up to drive that car and I wasn't concentrating. When you're on track, I want you to experience that because it's such a different element to driving your car. But when you're on track, you need 100%, not 99, 100% focus for what you're doing on the track. Let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. But let me be clear, this has nothing to do with the capabilities of the C8 Z06. It simply has to do with me and not paying attention when I should have. 
And when I did screw up on a turn I'm about to show you, it kind of screwed my head up for the rest of the session. And keep in mind, this is really only the second time I've been driving on the NCM Motorsports track. And for you guys that are beginners, it's important to follow the lead follow guy up there. He's setting the line that we're supposed to be doing. And if he can do it in a Camaro Z01, you bet that we can do it in a C8 Z06. So I come out of this corner here, setting up for the corner that ended up being a problem for me. Doing about 60, get into the low 70s. I think there should be some braking signs here on the left because we're doing a hard right-hander and it's important to get this apex here. And then that way you watch out for the apex on the left-hand side. That was a problem for me twice in my four laps. Because when I screwed up in this turn I'm about to show you, it kind of screwed up my head for the rest of the session and it's so important to concentrate. I share my mistakes so you guys learn from them and you have a better experience when you're on track. Now Griff starts to pull away from me just a little bit and then what do I do? I accelerate. Look at I'm all the way on gas. I get up to well over the 70 miles an hour. I almost hit 90. I'm not set up. I wasn't far enough left so I'm not set up for this apex and as I come around, <laughs> well, you can see other people have been there before, and I'm sure they had a worse result than I did. As I continue through this, I'm going way too fast. I'm on the brakes just a little bit. I don't, if you look over down here, I don't have the steering wheel turned. There's hardly any weight on the front end of these C8s. This is an understeer car. Knowing that, knowing the car, knowing your capabilities, knowing the track, knowing your line is so important. I needed to turn that steering wheel and I needed to slow down just a little bit. I did this track before the first time I went to NCM. You can see here, I handled that turn, no problem, just like a pro. But right here, I go off track. <laughs> it's, hell yeah. But we didn't hit any wall, we didn't hit any grass, we're good, and look at that. And then I have egg on my face and my head was all scrambled. I know better. Watch your line, slow down, turn the wheel, all the things I was supposed to be doing. Was I a little more geeked up and over anxious to drive the Z06 and lost a little bit of concentration? That's exactly why that happened right there. Guys, when you get behind the wheel and you're on track, nothing else matters. You, the car, and your line. Pay attention, have a great session, have a safer session, but have a lot more fun when you're doing it right. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us for today's Coffee with Conti on our Corvette channel. You could tell that was more than just a preview, but we got some great fun and experiences to share, and I hope you enjoy today's upload. try and dodge the camera like I did last time. We just got here and uh, last time we were here, we were talking about this sign and it's still the same sign and I know you guys are concerned that you want this change so you can see living the dream a little bit higher. We'll see how that turns out. Bash events coming up next week. We'll be here for at least one day to share a lot of great coverage with you talking about some of the new things for 2024, talking about our opinion of the cacti color. Bert, got you covered, buddy. But I'm here today at the National Corvette Museum to share with you what is the unfortunate continuing saga for Michael in Florida to get his Z06. He should have been done with the, hi. He should be done with the plant tour. I don't see him on the boulevard. We haven't disclosed what the color of his car is yet. I know for a fact it's not here. I, was, I love it when I come here. I always run into people we know, people watch the channel. But one of my customers right here, I had a chance to meet, order with us, and tell everybody what you just told me. Your car's being built when? It's being built today. Well, today? Yeah. And it's, it's funny, it's ironic because we didn't know coming down. Yeah. I knew it was going to be around this time. Yeah, everything changes so much right now in this car. It's crazy. Yeah. And I know you're excited. Oh. <laughs> All the messages I'm getting from this guy, he's like, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm just really excited. He's like, I get it. 14 year olds with money. That's fine. <laughs> there you go. Good to meet Pleasure you, man. Meet you. Oh, man. Congratulations. Thanks for the business, too. Oh, that's great. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a full intro and a reveal of the color of the car, but Michael is here with his family. Good to see you guys. Good to see you again, Dad. You were at the plant tour running behind. Yep. You got to see the plant manager. I did. I said, hang on a second. Let me turn the camera on. Let me let me find out for the first time with you guys on the channel. So do tell what Kai told you about your car, if anything. Well, as of right now, he doesn't have the answer for me, but he's working on it. And okay. it was just great that uh, there was an electrical engineer in the lobby there and said, you know what? You deserve to know what's going on. So let me go find out for you or at okay. least get somebody that can help you. Okay. And so all of a sudden he's like, the, the plant manager's going to be on the side. I'm like, Kai Spandy himself? He goes, yeah. So all of a sudden he comes right. out. It was great to have a nice conversation with him. And, uh, Sweet. He's got my number and he's gonna 
find out what's going on. Good news, bad news, at least we'll know where the car is and, and how long we'll have to possibly wait for it. So that's that was pretty cool. So, and at least today you'll get to drive one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I've been drooling all day with you guys on the vlog. Yeah, we're gonna be driving a Z06, so don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, we're gonna make this fun and eventful in trying to make it as special as we can today without a real car. We're gonna reveal the color of the car, the Z06 that Michael from Florida ordered. His parents don't know, his wife didn't know, his wife's home with the kids, the dogs. All right, first of all, I just want to say thank you again for your friendship, your continued business, your generosity has been just amazing. Both ways, I appreciate it very much. You guys have no idea. Uh, that's one of the great things I love in dealing with this car is the cool people. So if you'd help me out here, sure, sure. my hands are full, uh, I'm gonna take this. If you would be so kind to hold this, don't open it yet though. Even though we don't have a car and even though it's here at the museum, I gotta do my congratulation sign. It's just kind of a stable house. For I gotta sure. do that, you know? I'm just weird in my process, you know. Pat the signs. And and we're gonna do something though. I, gotta, I do have an idea for the send off pad, even though we don't have a freaking car, all right? But uh, hopefully we hear from Kai here before the end. So if you'd be so kind to open that up. All right, all right. I told everybody Christy's not here because she's home watching the kids, the dogs. The dogs, yeah. yeah. Congratulations, man. All right, Dad, you can open up that there. There's uh, something in there for you, your wife, and for Michael, and for Christy. All right, so I just, he's laughing. He's like, now you guys figured out how I'm going to do that unique send-off pad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are we going to put it on the ground? Okay, I'll get it on the ground. You're going to stand on the other side. It's your car. All right, we'll get, we'll get down low. Now, this is not what you imagined for your Corvette museum delivery, especially being a Z06, but I'm so glad that Kai Spandy's trying to troubleshoot the problem, but uh, at least you got this to take home with you. It's awesome. It's, uh, to get to reveal it as a surprise. Yeah, to absolutely. So we're going to do a send-off, Pat, right here at the National Corvette Museum for Michael and Christy in Florida. We've got a send-off. Congratulations, thank you so much for the business. Uh, I don't think yours has a high wing, no, but we're still, still for the for the spirit of yep, the send-off, yep. Pat, we are gonna rub the wing for you too. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's oh it's leading. <laughs> totally unscripted there, so um, thanks again for uh, that, that, that was fun, man. Yeah. Right on cue, man. Yeah. It was great. That does look good, man. Look at that. Pass? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, we did send off that. Yeah. Okay. Driving the Z06 after lunch. Coming up. All right. I'm not going to share lunch with you guys, but. <laughs> The phone is right there. We're waiting for Kai Spandy to call <laughs> to give us an update on this car. Dun, dun, dun. All right, get out of here. All right, cue the. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Take two. Cue the dramatic music. All right. Michael just heard from Kai Spandy, the plant manager. What's the status on the car, man? So it's uh, a very small chip on the carbon fiber wheel. Okay. So they need to get that replaced, and I'm going to ask them. Is when? That, is that right. you know, okay. while we're still here the next couple days? or? Yeah, really. I mean, that was that top secret? Okay. All right. Yeah, guess, but that's yeah, good. That's good. But he, he did what he said he was going to do. Got an answer. He is a great guy. Yeah, I love friendly. that. All within an hour. Fantastic. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Share this with you guys. 
I'm sorry I didn't share the immediate reaction, but um, I'm freaking floored, all right? You saw I gave a couple of nice gifts to Michael. He's been so generous to me and just a little something just to be thoughtful. But I, I got a backpack full of stuff from him and his wife, Christy. I really appreciate that. The car's not here, as you guys know. And one thing here, before I tell them this, here's what impresses me. You've just said, this has been an awesome day. This has been an awesome experience. You've interacted with the plant manager, Kai Spandy, and you don't even have your car, and you're still on this high like you've gotten your car. Yeah, for sure. You know, so I, I, I commend you for that. And you're more than just a gentleman, so that's just fantastic. So you guys know you can order a custom plate inside the car. <laughs> Some of you... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i can't we'll get a picture for you at some point because yeah. it doesn't have a car today i got the form here what he put on there and he's been dying to tell me this yes, and I, I don't know how you That's kept it from me today almost yeah too. so anyways <laughs> on the plate it says and if you haven't been on the channel i used to tease you you can put anything on there you can say hey i love tacos well freaking a he put on there i love tacos thanks rick conti and in the uh, o for conti there's an eight for c8 Very creative, very generous, and just... <laughs> I appreciate it. It was now, awesome. Now, some people have I'm... taken mine, stopped dreaming, started driving, and duplicated it. I don't think anybody will take the I Love Tacos and duplicate it. And if you do, yeah, go for it. Go but for that it. is, that's a one-on-one. I was one -on -one. worried somebody else was going to have that idea and do it before me. I was like, I can't wait for the car Now, what did your wife that. say? It's like, what the hell? I love tacos. Are you kidding me? what she said. She goes, I do love tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yeah, we do. There's the kid waving, all right, fantastic. There's Zach, our track manager. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty soon he's gonna hear that in his garage. Here comes Ryan in the hypersonic gray. Here comes Griff. All an ass. Woo! Wow, Ryan. First lap. Look at that. Look at that. Michael should be coming through here real soon. Then we'll get you some aerial shots from up yeah. in the tower here at the NCM Motorsports Park. Zach is driving first. Woo! Yeah, baby. Nice. Across the street from the National Corvette Museum and Bowling Green Assembly. We're at the NCM Motorsports Park, guys. The only place you could drive a C8 Z06 on track and above highway speeds, as they say. Quite a bit, in fact. <laughs> yeah, that's my kid. He did pretty good, didn't he? Did he? He did great. Yeah, I looked like he was following you pretty good. He had a good, good line and good control of the car. Absolutely. He's, oh. he's a ringer. You brought a ringer with you. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Griff. You're I appreciate welcome. that. How'd you do, kid? Feel all right? You got a couple hours of sleep, and you're out here driving a CO6 on the track, dude. I think he's got some skills. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. I don't want to blow his head up too much, but. Uh, yeah, I think you did pretty good out there. Uh, what'd you think? This is different than driving Steven's car at LMR in Houston. You're on the track. Uh, what'd you think, man? I mean, it has so much power. You can just pretty much power through anything. Like yeah. If you, you feel like you don't have enough grip, you just power it through. Right, yeah. It's easy to recover. Yeah. Yeah, how was your lines? I was following the Camaro. Yeah, Dad went off track twice. I did not feel like I was going to go off. Well, no, you look ahead better than I, and that's what i got to learn from you and just learn from the basic skills of, of driving on the track. That's a, a key component. So uh, I hope the audience learns from that. That's one thing I like to do in the channel is to teach you guys stuff. You know, whether I'm doing something right or doing something wrong, if there's a, a learn from it, uh, then that's a win for all of us. 
Remember, if you want the experience unlike any other to drive a car at this level, the C8 Z06, it in its own right is a historic car. What a great gift to somebody is this driving experience. Yeah, they've got training here at the NCM Motorsports Park. I suggest you take some of that stuff so you feel more comfortable and you feel confident on track. It's not all about speed, but you're going to feel the finesse in which C8 was designed. All right, Griff, I'm right behind you, buddy. Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh. Well, the problem for me right now, guys, the more I'm around the Z06, I've been telling you on the channel, it is uh, sincere. I love this car. And I am so focused to get one. What you'll probably see, I hope I bump this camera, hopefully into the right position. Um, I learned from sharing my new experiences and tracking that you guys said, Rick, you're holding your hands too high. Thank you for that feedback. I'll listen to you guys. I want to learn. I want to get better. I'm not using paddles, and we're also in sport mode, so you know. Here we go. Man, this car is so fast. My God. correctly yes we do now uh, here comes some G's now boys oh my gosh straight away coming up track this time. Thanks, Griff. Make it slowed up there to let me know, hey, there's an apex here, dummy. <laughs> I got you, buddy. It's the first time on track this year, and uh, they're a true track car, so this has really opened my eyes, and I've got a lot to learn and uh, about setup and braking and turning. But to do it in this car is really a thrill, man. Here I come, Griff. I'm coming. I'm not done yet, brother. Wow. Here's the one where I break. Okay, he does break there. Uh, carries a lot more speed into this corner than I uh, feel comfortable doing. And we got a little break here. Hard right-hander. Hard right-hander. Come on, Ricky, turn that wheel. Here we go. All right. That was better. Okay, that's probably the best one. I think I'm on my last lap, too, so. Yeah, the more you do, the better you get. That goes with anything. Understanding your capabilities as a driver as well as the car that you're in and the track setting in which you're on. Very important, guys.
took that too wide. My bad. Twice I did that. Shit. Yeah, lost a little confidence in that one there. I don't know if I showed you guys. I kind of went way over the apex. Uh, wasn't looking far enough ahead. You know, that's one thing you got to do in this. Oh, we're pitting, okay? That's a sign when your hand comes out like this to let you know that we're pitting. Shame on me for not looking far enough ahead. I know better than that. But again, there's so much going on when you're in the car, it's hard to remember all the things you're supposed to do, especially if you're not doing this every day. You know, that's the other thing too. This is, uh, I think I had my hands too high too. Later on, I think I started getting nervous and I started gripping up here. But when you're not doing it every day, it takes a while to get that level of comfort and confidence and that's what I want you guys to understand. You don't have to go out there and be the fastest guy on the track. You don't have to go out there and impress anybody. You go out there for you and have fun and that's what they instill here at the NCM Motorsports Park. <sighs> yeah, I'm nervous. I'm just, you know what? I, I, I'm very competitive. So anybody that knows me, I don't know how much I showed you guys where I went way I didn't go off track, but I went way over that apex because I didn't look far enough ahead. Thank goodness there was some concrete curbing there that allowed me not to, to hurt myself or the car, but damn, man, I just, I know I could have done better. And you saw I went way out there into the concrete curbing, yeah. and I'm well, sorry about that. That was just, that was my bad. Saved it, okay. thank goodness, but, you know, well, car's you did great. the right thing. So uh, what a lot of people do when they figure out, oh, I'm going wide, they keep trying to fight it. Right. And so then they hit that curbing with their hands like this, and then the car just goes. Right. So what you should do is just what you did. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Turn my hands back. And I let off the boom. gas. And then you go boom, boom, and then you re-enter the track. Yeah. No big deal. But I, I, I just, <laughs> I know better trying to learn myself, trying to teach my audience, and I know better. But it's just like, what a, what a beginner mistake. Um, oh, you did just. Yeah. Did but thank fine. you. That's, but that's, nice job. You were really kicking ass this time, man. Oh, my gosh. A, that's a very uh, difficult part of the track, so I would not worry yourself again. It you're right. It is. Mom, we can't close the vlog without getting some feedback from you. You just did the hot lap with Griff. What did you Look at you smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you have a blast? Oh, it was unbelievable. No kidding. Yeah, it was really. We, he, he said we went 140 on the straightaway. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, so what did you think of that damn car, dude? Oh, well, the sound is intoxicating. Yes. And, yes. And I didn't have carbon ceramic brakes on my current uh, C706. So just when we were waiting just to go, right? I mean the clamp force. Yeah, they're and tight. You just, and you just hit the brake pedal. It's like, you know, it's a race car. And uh, the, uh, the instructor got out and said, "You've been making me work hard." I was like, "That's what I want to hear." Yeah. I was, having, I was having a blast there. It, 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 you know, highway speeds, of course, right? Right. So right. We're, sure. We're not quite going as quick as you want in the streets. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Well, before we end the vlog today, uh, coffee with Conti without any cups of coffee, although there was a bunch getting here from Ohio to, to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, what's the update with Kai Spandy? He's been just so awesome communicating with you, and he's gotten stuff done. He, sure he really is the he Corvette really, plan manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God has called, so to speak, and, yes. and he's answered my prayers. So uh, it's awesome what he's done. That Basically, they, they got my car pulled, pulled into the service bay, let's just say, and okay. um, it was a chip on uh, one of the carbon fiber wheels. Okay. He sent me a picture with the new wheel right next to it. Wow. So fingers crossed it gets sent over to the museum tomorrow, and whether it's tomorrow or Friday or even yeah, Saturday. Yeah, because you got some accessory stuff that they're going to put on for you. PDI and right. everything, and okay. it looks more positive now that at the end of the week we're heading home with the car as opposed to yeah. without the car. Now, so. I'm not going to be here for the official send-off, Pat, but I think the die-cast model thing was kind of cool. That was pretty awesome. So that was, that was fun. There'll never be another one like that. <laughs> right, right. For sure. Right, exactly. So I appreciate uh, you, uh, you know, Coglin. Uh, Obviously, Kai, everybody at the, the plant there, especially yeah. him today specifically, you know, yes. making things work. That's uh, It actually made this whole experience even better, actually, that it worked yeah. out this way. I think that the man himself has yeah. taken a personal interest in making sure that... Uh, How many... And the electrical great... engineer, John, I wish I knew John's last name, but he was yeah. actually the, the guy that was sitting there. He went and got Kai for you. He got Kai for me and said, hey, you deserve to get an answer, so... I uh, couldn't, couldn't thank everybody enough. Well, how many times have we talked about it on the vlog over the years? And thank you so much for those of you that have been with us for so long that every car's got a story. Uh, yours has begun. Yours is a unique story, and it's real special. Yes. And I think you're going to enjoy the car even more just a little bit now. A little bit, yeah. This, yeah. this day has been awesome. My folks being with me, Ryan being here with you. It's, uh, it's been an incredible day. Good friend there, Brad, one of your other customers here. Yes. Came all the way just to join us for the, for the yeah, day. Yeah, he's awesome. It's, and the weather. I mean, look at this weather. Oh, yeah, this is for, perfect. Per perfect day for a race car. Yes, it is. On the track, so it's been awesome. I appreciate it. Everything right.
dude, thanks for everything. Congratulations, yep, seriously. Yep, thank you, sir. Thank appreciate you so much, it. you guys. Absolutely. Dad, thank you so much. Thanks for lunch, too. I appreciate that. We wrestled over lunch. I lost. But uh, <laughs> what, a gr what a great family. What a great time to share this with you guys on the channel today. Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate that. Make sure you support this channel. Subscribe. It's absolutely free. Yeah, thumbs up the video. Make some comments down below. Yes, I beat myself up a little bit, but I want you guys to know that I am a real guy, just like a lot of you out there, and I want you to learn from it, but also not be afraid to experience what Michael and I and my son Ryan did today at the NCM Motorsports Park. Thanks for watching. Yeah, sitting here thinking, you guys, uh, we did share a lot today. What a fun upload. Thanks so much for watching. I got to tell you, I think you know this already. Just my competitive nature. And not so much that I have anything to prove to you guys, but more so to myself. I'm going back. I, I, <laughs> I want and I need one more crack <laughs> that C8 and C06 on the NCM Motorsports track to prove to myself that because I know better. I can do a better job. Yeah, what the hell? I'm going back to drive it again. I'll let you know when. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm nuts. <laughs> but you guys knew that already. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you Tuesday night for Tech Tuesday. <laughs>